Yes My Dudes. I'm Alex and thanks for checking out another video. Today we're going to be breaking down the track The Message Continues by Nabaya Garcia. We've got Sam Jones on drums, I tapped it out at about 117 BPM and it's in 4-4 time. Now in particular we're going to be breaking down the head or the chorus of the tune which has a 6 bar form. Sometimes it's played around twice so 12 bars in total but it's the same idea as you just repeat it. So the groove from the first time around the head will sound something like this. So as you just saw, I've notated out the first six bars from when Sam Jones starts playing, but as always, use this as something to jump off from because we don't just want to play exactly what he's already played note for note, but it's more important to understand the form, use this as inspiration, and see if you can make it your own. So we're going to move through this pretty quickly today. So what I'll do is I'll play you every bar at half speed and then at full speed, and then we'll piece it all together. So let's get straight into our first bar. There's some ghost notes and open hi-hats and stuff to watch out for, but overall, it's some classic backbeat business. So bar two super similar, we've just got a couple of extra ghost notes, a couple of extra open hi-hats. One thing to pay extra attention to is that we're going to swap the ghost note on the E of beat four for a bass drum. This is really important to the overall phrasing, so let's give it a go. So it could be a good idea to loop around bars one and two because that's what the main groove is based around for most of the track. But for now, let's move straight into the third bar of the head. A similar kind of vibe with slightly different phrasing. Let's give it a go. So bar four, we've got a different variation as we lead into the turnaround in the last two bars. So we're gonna start things off by playing six eighth notes up on the open hi-hat and doubling it up with a bass drum. One and two and three and. We're gonna fill in some of the missing 16th notes with our left stick on the snare drum, on the uh of beat two and the e of beat three. And then we're gonna play a fill on beat four of the bar, right, left, right, left, right, left. You've got four 32nd notes and two 16th notes. You could count this 40 and a and a, or 40 and a four and, or whatever works for you. Bars five and six, we've got our turnaround. So I'm gonna play both bars together because they work as one cohesive phrase. Important things to note here is that in bar five, we're gonna let our open hi-hat ring out on beat four of the bar, which is played at the same time as the chords in the track. In the sixth bar, you're gonna jump straight back into the groove and then finish off the bar with a fill in the second half. Let's check it out. Cool, so we checked out all the parts individually, so let's check out how it all sounds together. A 
Okay, sick. So hopefully that gives you a bit of insight into what Sam Jones is playing. And I don't think anyone will argue that those grooves are killer, especially when he's playing it. But in my opinion, this is the most important part of the lesson because we don't necessarily want to learn note for note exactly what Sam Jones has already played. So let's learn the form and see if we can try out some of our own ideas over it. So the way that I'm thinking of it is that in the head, we've got four bars to play a backbeat groove, including all of those ghost notes and open hi-hats that we've talked about. Of course, feel free to also include some of your own phrasing. In the fifth bar, the chords are played on beat one, the and of beat two and beat four four of the bar. So what we play needs to complement that. Now that doesn't mean that you have to play those hits every single time, but it does mean that you need to be aware that they're happening so that whatever you play fits in with the groove. And in the sixth bar, you've got a bar to resolve whatever you're playing to get back into the groove on bar one when it all starts again. I'm gonna keep this pretty free and just have some fun with it. I'll also make sure to keep track of the structure down below, but this is gonna be a wicked exercise for learning the song form, experimenting, getting creative and improvising. Here we go. Nice mate, so a bit of a different approach to learning this one today, so be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you do go and learn any of the grooves that we've looked at today, or you experiment with improvising over the form, and you upload a video of you playing it, I would love to see it man. You can tag me up on Instagram at, at drumhubtuition. And as always, if you're digging the videos, hit the button to join the Wednesday crew man. I'll see you next week.